Hi, I'm Scott Becker with Century 21 New Millennium in the Washington, D.C. metro area. We service Northern Virginia, Southern Maryland, and all of D.C. Uh, in our area, we have millions and millions of USAA, uh, NFCU members, along with many other Affinity clients. And I had a chance to sit down with one of our great agents, Pam Campbell. She works out of our Alexandria office and has been with us for a very long time, has a great military background. Hope you uh, gain a little from what you have. We've got said. millions of USAA and NFCU members in, in our Washington, D.C. area. How do you find them and, and connect them to you? Well, there's lots of different ways. Uh, most military installations, well, excuse me, all military installations have family service centers. If you go and you make contact with their relocation directors, they all have relocation directors. They would love for you to come and teach classes for them. I teach classes at four of the different installations in our area, home buying, home selling, marketing, whatever. They would love for you to do it. Military people come to the classes for free. They're, the relocations director love you. you have, there's rules. You have to be careful about how you approach some of those things and what you say, but it's a good, good source. Uh, they also have fairs all the time. They have job fairs. They have all kinds of activities that you can make your presence and volunteer, make donations. Uh, just so that you get your foot in the door with some military people on a military. Having worked for the military and been a military spouse for many years, it's there. I mean, there's nothing you have to do. If you, if you have any connection with prior military, you, they've got that loyalty to you, and that's why they love USAA, because they know they can trust them. They've been there forever, and they know they can trust they their services. I, uh, I had a, a military client that just called me not too long ago and it said, Oh, I was given your name. I have a, a neighbor that lived next door to somebody at Fort Huachuca that knew somebody at Fort Stewart that knew you when you knew you when you were at Fort Sam Houston. It's just it's remarkable the number of calls that I get. Once you make a contact and a friend with the military, they're your friend. Well, I guess life. I'm a, a lucky because I do have that military background and having been a military spouse. That's if I say that it's pretty much easy from there on out. If they if I don't say that. Uh, or for any of the agents out there that don't have the military background, if you explain to them um, that you know you're USA certified, that you do training, that you'll take good care of them, that and I think the key thing is is understanding their talk, know some of the acronyms, especially know their ranks. I mean, I see it every day, letters that go out, and because the ranks are spelled differently for Air Force, Navy, Marine, whatever, and I see it coming out of this office all the time. The the names are misspelled. You mispronounce it. You call them a colonel or a lieutenant colonel. Uh, they expect you to know um, their rank and how they should be addressed. And that separates you from others when you're able yeah, to Yeah, because then they think, oh, well, she's worked with military before. She knows, she knows. One of the big things is that a lot of people don't realize how stressful it is to move. And I know that military, um, it, it's, it's tough for them. They, they have 14 days to find a house. They're in a hotel with two kids and two dogs. And the husband may be in Iraq and the wife's doing all this by herself. So it is stressful and you got to be patient and you got to be understanding and if they can tell right from day one that you understand their situation, you know they're in a hurry, instead of being impatient with them and think they're being rude, understand their needs and um, I think you, you won't have any problems with it's it. It's easy probably to AGR a client that you met off the internet or that you met at the grocery market and you don't have that relationship. How do you feel about it when it's maybe your neighbor? Oh, I don't. I don't have a problem with that at all. I, one of the things that bugs me is when you hear agents complaining about having to give up a referral fee. Uh, you know, we're one big family, and I, I look at that, and I always have. I've been a strong advocate of that. That's a person that I would not have had, and if they're military and you do a good job, they're going to send you a referral. I, I'd be willing to bet if I went back through my records, eight out of ten that I have help find a home that were USAA have sent me yes. got to have that big picture you can't worry about the you know the thousand you may lose there because if you get three deals out of it you know it's 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 the one step it's you know it's it, what pays off in the end. And Pam if there was somebody out there who thought your video was fantastic and they wanted to refer a military uh, family out to you in, in the northern Virginia area how would they get in touch? Oh with call me 571-217-0444 uh, <laughs> Thank you, Pam. I have a great day. Thanks, I appreciate God. it.